Hello all, uh, good morning, Namaskara. So um, Saturday, one of the wonderful days of uh, our week. We all will be looking forward for uh, Saturdays. Hello, good morning, Caroline, a sincere student always uh, looking forward. Hi, Prajwal, how are you? Hi, Varsha Kamath. Hi, Surabhi Naveen. Hi, all of you. Hi, uh, Shankar. Hi. So um, Saturdays are the good days. And uh, some of you are still working from home, but people like us, you know, believe us, people like us, sports people, we never have work from home, but we have an option of work for home. So I work for home. I do all sorts of stuff at home, right? So we will definitely go back to our chit chats later. And now today we have, guess what, Ryan, Ryan Fernando, the celebrity nutritionist, and he is a Nama Bengaluru guy. He's from Bangalore. Let me quickly add him up. I'm adding uh, Ryan Fernando now. So by the way, yes, uh, Ryan is a celebrity nu nutritionist. He has worked with a lot of uh, uh, Olympic players, national Ryan, players. Yeah. Hey, Ryan, how are you doing? Good morning. Please, please go. Please go ahead. Please go ahead. I'll just get my video yes, adjusted. So, uh, yeah, so uh, ladies and gentlemen, you're looking at Ryan Fernando, the celebrity nutritionist. He holds two Guinness World Records of his clients, two Olympic medals with Sushil Kumar. You know Sushil Kumar. We are all proud of him with two Olympic medals for us. Cricketers like Robin Uttapa, Shikhar Dhawan, and many more clients and many more celebrities and CEOs of the company. So he is uh, a genie, I would say. You will get a lot of eating secrets today. And don't forget that eating is everything. So whatever you eat, it goes inside. It shapes you as a human, it radiates everywhere. You're thinking, you're influenced on your thinking and you will be a superhuman being. So Ryan, how is the Saturday morning going on? Oh, my Saturday morning is amazing. I got up, I had to clean one terrace. I had to water my plants. I had to scrub one bathroom. So that was my workout. <laughs> and I got my breakfast in and uh, I did a few calls with my team. I have a team of 40 sports nutritionists across the country. We have nine clinics in India. So every morning at 10 a.m. we all get on a call and we're discussing like, okay, who's got a new case? Uh, is there a difficult case? Like yesterday we had a seven-year-old girl uh, who's also playing, but uh, she, has, uh, she has an issue with her uh, teeth and braces and all something, something that is a problem in the mouth. So she can't have solid foods. Oh, so she wow. wants to play. She wants to practice her sport. But at the same time, we have to give her high calorie food, but she can't chew. So how do we do that? And then uh, a week before last, we had a diabetic kid wanting to do sports nutrition. You know, so uh, uh, for, for, so when a kid has ins is dependent on insulin, what we call a juvenile diabetes, there's that. And uh, so that day goes in discussing a few cases, somebody or the other is an expert. So, uh, you know, that's what we do. We bring a certain amount of science to the love and culture of how we eat. So when you add the science to the love and culture, uh, anybody that is watching us right now can be the next PV Sindhu or Shrikant or uh, Ponapa, whoever it is, they have to be, you know. Fantastic, Ryan. So I, I totally get what you're saying and I completely along with you, with your Olympic dream, what you say. So all my audience and viewers here, so Ryan has a, a dream of being a, a contributor to the larger Olympic medals, which we will be able to get. Uh, and uh, uh, what happened? So there has been a network issue. Sorry uh, for this. I will just add uh, Ryan back again. Uh, <clears throat> so uh, waiting for Ryan to join. Yes, hi Vipin. Uh, hi. Um, Sorry, I'm I back. I have, I have no idea why it just dis disappeared. Not a problem. So uh, I was just mentioning this before Ryan. So uh, 
lot of us are working from home but people like us coaches like us we are working for home so <laughs> that's been our job nowadays and yeah so coming back uh, uh, ryan has a dream of uh, uh, you know contributing uh, from the nutrition perspective to the larger audience who larger uh, side of the uh, side of the olympic medals which we are going to win for the next uh, couple of olympics which we are having so when you uh, spoke about the science and uh, uh, eating out of love and culture ryan i remember i came back from a national tournament and i won a medal there I, it was a bronze medal and when i came back my mother mother being mother very sweet so she she said that you know fantastic job you have been dreaming to do this and it's your uh, thing which you have won and there you won't believe there were six sweets in front of me you know paisam rasgulla jamun and all sort of things and i ate it ravishly and you won't believe the next 10 days i could not train properly and i performed equally bad in the next tournament so i understand what you are saying so how how does that affect our culture now so i want a good uh, advice on this right for all of us so uh, for for all the badminton players out there and all the parents watching in first things first think of yourself as a mobile phone think of yourself as a vehicle do you self service this vehicle no you send it to the mobile shop you send it to your car garage to get it serviced in terms of dal chawal roti uta sapad bhojan khana our meals we learn from our grandmother mother our wife our sisters and even now we men are going into the kitchen so we prepare more out of our taste bud requirement love and culture now this is great this is good but i am asking this hard hitting question are you eating for your taste bud or are you eating to improve your performance in your game if you answer i am eating to improve my performance in the game whatever your age even if you are a 6 year old kid you can start eating like an olympian because you are training like an olympian therefore you should eat like an olympian so what happens is people reach the top most level and then decide to come to me as a, as, as the sports nutritionist but I, you know mohit there's one problem if you come to me when you're older when you're 23 24 25 your adult mindset is fixed you're not willing to change your diet you're not willing to change a lot in fact mohit if a athlete comes to you at 27 how easy is it to change technique or how easy to change a technique in a 10 year old it's it's so, close to impossible close to impossible right? because that's years and years of conditioning in a certain technical way so the mind the neuroplasticity has 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 been fixed diet is the same sports nutrition is the same so i'll give you a simple example uh everyone says uh, dal is protein yeah. now let me give you an example let's say i want you to give you 5 grams of protein 5 grams of protein you need to eat 16 tablespoons of tur dal or 200 grams of tur dal to get 5 grams of protein so your assumption is mera beta hai वेजिटेरियन है मैं उसको डाल देता हूं थोड़ा सब्जी देता हूं अच्छा राइस देता है कभी कभी अंडा देता है अंडा तो छह ग्राम का प्रोटीन है सो आई एम गेटिंग सिक्स ग्राम ऑफ प्रोटीन इन वन अंडा एंड लेट्स से दिस किड इज थर्टी के जीज ऑफ वेट द किड रिक्वायर्स फोर्टी फाइव ग्राम ऑफ प्रोटीन अ लॉट ऑफ माई एथलीट्स आर मिसिंग आउट ऑन गुड क्वालिटी प्रोटीन एंड एज ए रिजल्ट वी हैव टू थिंग्स इन द बॉडी लेट से आई एम टेन ईयर्स ओल्ड लेट से आई एम फोर्टीन ईयर्स ओल्ड इफ आई एम अ गर्ल नाइन टू ट्वेल्व इज मैन माई ग्रोथ स्पॉट है आई एम गोइंग टू ग्रो टॉल दिस इज माई ग्रोथ स्पॉट ओके एंड बॉयज इज ट्वेल्व टू सिक्सटीन ग्रोथ स्पॉट दिस साइड इज मेटाबॉलिज्म एंड स्पोर्ट्स न्यूट्रिशन एंड एवरीथिंग एंड परफॉर्मेंस सो आई टेक ऑल माई फूड एंड इट ऑल गोज योर बट आई नीड अ लिटिल एक्स्ट्रा फॉर माई ग्रोथ ना वॉट इफ माई न्यूट्रिशन इज लो so my performance is low my growth is also stunted so everyone says no no sir we are getting enough we are getting enough enough so performance said okay what about growth so sports nutrition is about planned calories knowing your blood test in fact i ask the children to do a saliva swab and give me the nutrition genes for example mohit if when you came to me at that young age when you won the bronze medal i would say mohit give me a saliva sample i want to check whether you can take gluten I want to know whether your gene has a sugar gene, whether you eat more sugar. Because if I tell you this, that your genetics, your factory blueprint, you know how I say genetics is what these genes are. This phone that is here, no, we have our phone. It's the hardware, correct? Yeah. And the software, the apps inside are the software. 
So similarly, body hardware inside us, the genes are the apps. So wouldn't you like to know, is there an app that absorbs vitamin B12 well or it doesn't absorb well? Is there an app to take chapati or not to take chapati? Is there an app whether you should give your child milk or not give your child milk? We are in 2020, Mr. Mohit. The, the, the gut strength or the gut tension on your racket is the biggest thing that we are doing in India right now in great shoes. We have moved on to coaching. We have moved on to strength and conditioning. We've moved on to biomechanics. But we are not doing it with a crazy uh, focus. Yeah, upar upar focus karte. Right? So diet is the worst paria. Matlab, diet is a stray dog. Sir, I trained so much, sir. I, I want to eat one full biryani and rasgulla and payasam now. Don't, sir, don't stop me. Why? Because from a young age, we train our children to believe that food is a reward. So parents out there listening in, Please do not take food as a reward to your child. You want to spoil your child, buy them a better badminton racket. But don't say if you win this tournament, I'm going to give you biryani. Because you, the athlete, have to understand. Imagine you are a Ferrari. I'm a Ferrari. Hey boss, I'm Ferrari. I'm driving my car, playing my game, everything. I'm a Ferrari. Now Ferrari stops and goes to pit stop. Hey boss, batata vada, samosa, pakoda, uh, raskulla, put it inside your Ferrari. That's like a Ferrari putting auto rickshaw fuel inside. Then uh, after tournament to tournament to tournament, you're saying, boss, why is my Ferrari not performing? Coach is coming to you. Ryan, sir, such a skilled, technical person. So good, yaar. But uh, by the fifth point finished, uh, the, the, uh, the energy hawa to nikal gaya. So these are important things in sports nutrition and planned diet and understanding what quantity of food I need to eat, what food I should be eating, when should I eat that food, so these are the three. What should I eat? How much should I eat? And when should I eat? These are the three tenets of sports nutrition, which Mohit, I started on my son when he was six months old. Because wow. I did his nutrition gene test. And I came to know that he has a gene that does not like bitter vegetables. So he will be a very fussy kid. I also had the knowledge that it takes nine exposures for a child to overcome. Nine exposures. So let's say, Moit, what food do you hate? I hate green peas. What food do you hate? A uh, lot of uh, vegetables. Part of vegetables. Give me an example of one vegetable that you don't touch. Karela. I don't like karela. Karel. If you take karela nine to 12 times every day, slowly, slowly, you will recondition your brain to eat karela. Now the question is, why would you want to eat karela? That is the function of the nutrition coach. The nutrition coach is the guy. He's the coach. Like what's the function of a badminton coach? He will look at you. He'll analyze you. He will see your stroke. He will see your play. He will see your angle. He will see everything. And then he will advise you. He will explain to you. He will make you think why you need to do a different way or the same way or keep practicing or give you danda to keep eating. Similarly, I will give you danda to eat Kerala or I will convince you why Kerala is good or I'll tell you that what are the benefits of Kerala or I will tell you that let's do this for 10 days and see what stroke practice comes out of eating Kerala. That is the function yes. of a sports nutritionist. So with perfect, my kid, perfect. Yeah. I came to know that he, he cannot like bitter food. So when he was a baby, we started feeding him broccoli. So we feed him broccoli. He used to spit it out, spit it out, spit it out, spit it out. But I told my wife, 9 to 12 exposures. So when we got to nine to 12 exposures, then the kid today, if I hold broccoli, my kid comes running past, picks it up and says, Papa, a little tree and eats it. <laughs> so conditioning is the function of a nutritionist. And the job of a badminton player is to say, uh, Dad, Mom, I think I need to focus on my nutrition because I sleep once or twice a day. I play badminton once or twice a day. I shit once or twice a day. I shower once or twice a day. Okay. I go to the gym maybe once or twice a day. But I eat five to six to seven times a day as a badminton player. So the importance of nutrition supersedes everything else. This is what I'm trying to convince players in our country that we will never win a medal till at the young age everyone starts eating, not for their taste buds but for Olympic level performance. So that's it in a nutshell.
Fantastic. Uh, there is so, so, so much to take away from this, uh, Ryan. So we were just blind out of uh, eating out of love and culture, Ryan. Thanks a lot for doing this. So before I move on to the question, which uh, one of the viewer has put. So what if we don't eat eggs? So before you answer this question, let me tell you all viewers, we are also uh, giving out the secret, the eating secret of champions, a wonderful uh, um, a book from uh, Ryan Fernando. And he will ask certainly, yes, that's it. That's the treasure. And I would say that's the secret. That's the ingredient for your son or you as a player to become an Olympic champion. So Ryan will ask certain questions in this one hour session. So we have another 45 minutes. So we'll be giving a question and whoever answers that as soon as possible. So the first answer, uh, answering uh, a boy or a girl will get this book for free. Uh, yes, uh, 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 Ryan, so what if we don't eat eggs? Because we largely are a vegan, not vegan, so veget vegetarian diet uh, crowd. So how do we do this? And you also mentioned what, how and when to eat. Please enlighten us on this. So, so it's very, very simple, Mohit. Um, if people don't eat eggs, uh, I don't know if you've heard of Sushil Kumar, the Olympic wrestler, two Olympic medals with yes. him. He's a pure vegetarian, no eggs also. So he changed my thought process as a nutritionist that being a vegan or a pure vegetarian, Sushil Kumar is a pure vegetarian, Hanuman Bhak. We then had to plan the protein and the calories and diet because he had to be of a certain weight. So if I gave him, so I gave you an example, no, Tur Dal, 200 grams of Tur Dal will give you 6 grams of protein. Now, I could get Sushil Kumar to eat that much amount of calories because he would expend that sort of calories, but he had to fight in, in those days he had to fight in the 62 kg category. So if he had to fight in the 62 kg category, hang on, he can't put on weight. So I can't give him that high calorie of uh, 16 tablespoons of Turdal. So the job of a sports nutritionist is to look at the height of the athlete, look at the muscle of the athlete. How much protein does this person? So let's say Mohit, you're my client. I'm assuming you're say, let's say 80 kgs. So I have to give you around 120 grams of protein a day. So you're vegetarian. So I'm going to give you six meals a day. So 60, 120. So uh, approximately six twos are 12, 120 uh, grams of protein per meal. So now I have to go down into my head and say, hey, 20 grams of protein. Let's put that into your vegetarian meal. So I've got to put pulses over there. Now in the pulses, I know that lobia, chana, rajma, the, the bean legumes, they are high in protein. So you'll get about... 10 grams of protein per 100 grams. So I put that in your diet. I add um, maybe something like quinoa, which is a grain which has a higher protein than rice. Or I do amaranth, or I do jowar, I do bajra, uh, you know, stuff like that. And then I balance it out and tell you this is the quantity that you need to eat. For the female athlete, I can look at soy, uh, soya beans, soya granules. Uh, for the male athlete, I kind of keep soya to once a week because of the blunting of testosterone. So I am more cautious with soya bean on the female, uh, on the male athlete. Sorry, male athlete more cautious. Most importantly, uh, uh, there is uh, there is an issue that uh, I will have to prescribe a protein supplement in case my paneer or milk comes back in the genetic test as do not give dairy product to this athlete. Otherwise, I can give paneer every day. I can give milk. I can give curd. And you know, one katori of curd will get six grams of protein. One glass of milk will get three and a half, four grams of protein. So if you have two glasses of milk, that's six grams of protein. So this is how we plan it through the day. So vegetarians can achieve it. Somebody just asked a question that, is there a recovery coming out of a plant-based diet and the Game Changes documentary of uh, on Netflix, how much is reliable or truthful? Number one. I have actually had over 200 athletes come and do the vegan diet with me. Oh, Here's the thing. Fantastic. It works. It works. It works from your markers of inflammation going down. But some of the calcium, magnesium and vitamin D comes like markers also come down. So I have to supplement. So it works, but I have to do supplementation. Second point, the psychological impact of not eating non-veg has got greater negativity on the athlete. I repeat, the psychological impact of not eating non-veg has greater negative impact on the athlete than the positive of the vegan diet. 
you get what i'm trying to say i yeah, miss so my non veg what 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 it what in terms of in my case so i have been eating non veg from a young age but i see that you know turning to vegan might be a good idea for me because i have to be lighter on coat faster agile and stronger on coat so if i want psychologically if i say that hearing of things and i come back to you hey rain i want to go back to ve- vegan let's do a gene test and you f- i want to become a vegan uh, diet person and i want to uh, move forward with my uh, professional sports so how do you uh, say that uh, so that's exactly how we do it uh, somebody comes to me and says i want to do the vegan diet see uh, more it's like this okay children between the ages of 5 and 20 i feel we should not deny them the uh, aspect of non veg if they are non vegetarian how often in a week once a day uh, for 6 days 7 days a week is absolutely fine however when you start improving to the next level like how virat kohli lewis hamilton have discovered they were all non veg athletes but shifted to vegetarianism because they are able to have this psychological bandwidth to be vegan i don't expect a 10 year old to a 20 year old to be vegan those who are born vegetarian and want to go vegan which is removal of the milk products thumbs up come to a sports nutritionist i request i humbly beg people please do not go on to a vegan diet without a nutritionist there will be nutritional deficiencies because you are accelerating the body but you don't know how to eat because you're eating out of love and culture so you have accelerated gone ahead gone your calories are going 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 up but your your vegan diet is not keeping pace with well, this nutritionist has to understand this and then match the diet so that it keeps pace with you as you go forward perfect yeah <clears throat> So fantastic. So Ryan, one question to the viewers: where they can uh, win the wonderful book? Okay, um, there is a red color vegetable that I always talk about that does vasodilation, which is expansion of the blood vessels, and it contains a high amount of uh, nitrates. What is that red color vegetable that boosts athletic performance? and it can be had as a halwa it can be had as a a vegetable a sabzi it can be had as a, a abc juice uh, and we are getting people coming in and i don't know who you got first but uh yeah yeah i think the first two will get manikanta sharma and rituva jain is that the right answer uh, ryan beetroot? yes beetroot is the right answer yes. beetroot beetroot is the right answer so you guys get my my book which is the eating secrets of champion you know mohit i wrote the book from a perspective that a lot of people can't afford to come for nutrition counseling not because they don't have the money they're carrying iphones and all it's just not in their psychology as yet to spend that sort of money but yeah. i i wrote this book I wrote this book, and I wrote it from a kid's perspective, ten to twenty year olds. I wrote it very colorful. I wrote it where you can just open any page because I realized one thing: that when yeah. you know people, uh, athletes read, they get bored. So I wrote my book from a very easy English, very colorful perspective, uh, and that's absolutely, uh, absolutely, absolutely correct. I'll ask one difficult question. Yeah. There'll be one so, more question. So there is yeah, another. No, there is another. No, Let's make it a little more fun, uh, Ryan, for the viewers and audience. So I think uh, okay. one, uh, Mr. Manikant has got so M. The word M is rolled out, and even the Ritu okay. are in. So the word R is rolled out. So the viewers, if you, if, once you are answering your, I mean, once you are answering the question of Ryan, so anybody who is not from, not their names are not from M and R will get this prize, and one person will get this. Come on, Ryan, shoot it out. Okay, so the question. The, uh, so somebody just asked, "Where can I buy the book?" You can buy it on my website, RyanFernando. dot in. Thank you so much for asking that. It's nine ninety nine rupees for buying it online. The ebook is five ninety nine. The question is, which vegetable is even more powerful than beetroot in terms of vasodilation? Any color? It's green in color. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Look which which Look vegetable up. is even more powerful than beetroot? And if you oh, get this, on. it means it means you you've gone on to Google right now and have typed it out. Which on, which, which which vegetable has more my nitrates than beetroot? Sorry, come again. Am am I no nitrates? It's called nitrates. N i t r a t. So nitrates, what they do, Mohit? Nitrates go into the body and improve the nitric oxide, which gives explosive power, gives vasodilation, removal of lactic acid, and all. 
So okay, nobody so, so far. A uh, lot of answers, Ryan. So you should tell me the right answer. I, I'm not seeing any answers on. Uh, okay, I'm seeing yeah, chili, cabbage, karela. No, no, no. Spinach, spinach. No, not really. But spinach is also having a good nitrate content. Karela, no, <laughs> okay. no. Okay, it starts with the letter R. R, come on, come on. Now you cannot miss that. Everyone's typing cabbage, spinach. You know, cabbage is very good for recovery because of its sulfur content. And in this coronavirus period, cabbage is really good because the sulfur-based compounds in it actually uh, help your body produce better molecules in the lungs. No, it's not radish. Everyone's like radish, radish, radish. No, it's, it's not ravioli. Ravioli is a type of pasta. Come on, guys, no, come on. You guys are on Google. I cannot go on Google. You have to be faster. Come on. Not radish. Everyone's like radish. Okay, it's got another name starting with A, and I'll tell it. It's uh, I'll tell the other name. The other name is called arugula leaves, also known as rocket leaves. I bet nobody has heard of it, but you know what? Daddy zone. Everyone is going to be eating rocket leaves henceforth. Rocket leaves have the highest content. I grow rocket leaves on my terrace, and every day wow. I take ten, fifteen leaves and just eat it directly. It's lovely in salad. Uh, you can just make uh, like uh, how you do is dal uh, dal palak. Is it rich guard? It's not rich guard. It's rocket leaves. Oh, the answer is rocket leaves. The answer is rocket leaves. Okay, nobody has answered. Uh, I think sorry. Uh, we will come back to this game, uh, Ryan. Uh, it's, it was very interesting and very uh, cooking for all of us. So coming back to uh, Ryan, uh, sports nutrition. Um, okay, some British said rocket leaves five times. Huh? You need to check that later on. So if she did. Okay, she so was the worst. If Pritis was the person, we'll give you the, we'll give you the book. Yes. You'll get my book, sir. Yes, yes, yes. yes. So, so more. Go back that. later on and check out who answered first. Yes, definitely, definitely, Ryan. So coming back to uh, my questions. So uh, we all, uh, even including me, have traveled to tournaments. So and there are you know the matches have been uh, sometimes you know at the wrong timings it'll get delayed, and we sometimes don't know what to eat, and sometimes we hog on all the vegetable, I mean fruits or juices. so how do you plan a diet when in a tournament or maybe when you're playing a longer match on the recovery basis what you need to eat so the recovery part please answer our questions on recovery part in the tournament and in the practice sessions and also the proper dieting during the tournament <clears throat> okay so uh, so mohit it's like me coming to you and say sir uh, what sort of stroke should i play in the tournament Yeah. Uh, if it's late in the evening, what should I do? If it's in the morning, what should? It's very difficult to predict. But what a, a good sports nutritionist or a good sports dietitian does is number one. First, I prepare you in a pre-run up to the tournament, which is what is known as carb loading. I have to ensure that in your hard practice in the run up to the tournament, you know, uh, from from a perspective that I need to keep the glycogen or glucose in my muscles very high. You know, Moit, it's like this for all your viewers, for all your fans. Imagine your phone, okay? So you take your phone and it's like, uh, oh, my phone's the battery charge has gone off. So the more you talk, the battery charge will go down. But let's yeah. see, let's imagine you're talking and you're charging at the same time. The battery doesn't drain. So the battery in the athlete should not drain. So the pre-run up period, we give sufficient carbohydrate and protein-based foods. Now, on the day of the tournament, we do what is known as competition guidelines. So what we do one day prior, the previous evening dinner, how we do carb loading? Is it a rice-based, pasta-based, potato-based, soup-based type of put into the body so you recharge all your batteries? Please remember, in most tournaments. From day one to day three, everyone has got good energy levels because you know, hello, hello, hello. I'm playing the match. I'm playing the match. I'm playing the match. My battery got dead. I go back next in the evening. I charge my phone battery, but it doesn't go to hundred percent. So I come back second day with eighty percent battery. Hello, hello. Play, 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 play. Now my battery is drained to sixty percent. I go back in the evening. I recharge my battery by eating, eating, eating. Now my battery is at sixty percent. Third day, I'm come at sixty percent. I play, blah, 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 blah. My battery is now down to forty percent. which is where the champions are winning those that have evolution to have a endurance gene survive on lesser fuel survive on lesser food are the ones who tend to win matches but what if i told you this could all change 
if you just knew how to eat before your match so what we tell clients is we give a 3 hour guideline 2 hour guideline 1 hour guideline before a match so i tell my athlete this is your body type this is the thing 3 hours before the match you can eat this so now i finish playing a game at 9 o'clock in the morning so first of all i know my my thing first match is at 9 o'clock so i eat my breakfast 2 hours prior then i say 3 2 1 so my my uh, request uh, my my uh, direction to use 3 hours before a match you can have a sandwich with a milkshake 2 hours before a match you can have a sandwich with an orange juice 1 hour before a match you can have some popcorn with uh, with uh, with a juice or a nimbu pani or a gatorade half an hour before a match a handful of nuts or seeds only after that don't eat anything now if you just had breakfast at 9 o'clock in the morning and prrr, whistle blows coach says 11 o'clock is your thing come play so now 2 hours before the match you just had breakfast so you don't need to eat anything so at 10 o'clock i would tell you just have an orange juice with some nut so we make that matrix and we give that guideline then we tell you the moment you finish your match what you need to do is it a protein shake is it a sandwich is it an entire biryani available at the caterer or a dal chawal because it's now 12 o'clock and your next match is actually at 2 o'clock so then i would tell you hey your next match is at 2 o'clock don't have the biryani just eat a sandwich and go and play the match have oh, liquid yes. inside of you yes, so yes. so so these things you know there is no fixed rule sir it's like saying you no know, if you if you have a imagine a student hires you and takes you for a tournament a, a parent hires you and takes you for a tournament like uh, mohit my son sort of thing black friend and i'd call you up and said mohit please join us for two tournaments why because this service that you would give the wisdom that you would give the experience that you would give to my son is unobtainable in a piece of paper in a phone call or in a prescription you being physically present and giving the advice is what the child needs to feed on same thing food if you tell the parent exactly what to keep ready the parent can keep it ready what's happening in most tournaments the parent and the child are both looking for food you don't have a game plan there is no game plan right so everyone's winging it even till today uh, i remember working with arvind but in the last part of his career and he's like ryan i've never been this good i wish i'd met you 10 years ago so i said why don't you sell all the parents so uh, 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 arvind but started jumping on all the parents go go do nutrition go do shit go nutrition but you see a, a true champion is somebody who has a vision a vision to understand that what my body needs to survive and then once you understand that vision you go out and find those people who will be your guiding light your guiding force that is your coach that is your strength and conditioning trainer that is your physiotherapist that is your nutritionist that is your masseur that is your um, i don't know are there any other support staff yes there's so many other things but i'm not the expert but that's what i would tell people that you need to have all of these things put together it's not just the shuttle the the badminton uh, and the racket so if people think they can wait till 15 16 for their child to accelerate we are 1.3 billion population you have missed the bus you need to start younger so that when the rest of the population bus at 15 16 is thinking what to do your kid has already reached the next level if you're 16 to 25 if you're sitting on your backside and have never done a nutrition plan i always tell people experience it one what is a nutrition plan for 3 months in my clinic it's 16500 approximately the price of a very good high end racket yeah. now mohit if i get angry in a match and i slam the racket on the floor will the racket get dent or break Yeah, enough. Yeah, it'll break, right? So I've lost sixteen thousand five hundred. But if you learn sixteen thousand five hundred rupees worth of three months of nutrition coaching, I set you up for life. The reason I'm saying this, Mohit, today in this session, and forgive me for going for that commercial pitch over here, and I, I request everyone's forgiveness. I have done in the last one month over a hundred sessions. After every session, people are messaging me, Sir, can I get a diet chart? sir i can't afford it sir i thought you will give it free so i'm trying to appeal to people out there 
that you are a professional as a coach i am a professional as coach the government of india is not funding me this is not charity i am doing a profession of being a sports nutritionist what knowledge i'm giving out here what knowledge i'm giving in my book is tools that we have created which is a barter system so recently one uh, microsoft parent came to me and says sir your plan is very expensive i said sir okay let's do one thing you work for microsoft you give me one computer and i will do your son's nutrition plan annually free of cost <laughs> he started laughing sir i can't do that <laughs> so the 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 point over here is why i'm saying this is the yeah. investment in understanding nutrition is far greater so let's take a few more questions yes so uh, uh, one of the uh, viewer has uh, put a question yes of course she is my wife uh, she is anusha and uh, if i don't Hi, ask that question to you, if i don't ask that question to you i will not get meal so you did it lots of clean, cooking and cleaning and extra stuff today i know <laughs> all our wives are making us do all of this stuff so let, i i'll consolidate that question too so i want to talk about the female athletes and right yes. from the growth spurt or it could be even the uh, before the growth spurt so how how things change in their body i have i have literally known that they are little bit of differently wired and their system is completely different and then uh, not only the growth spurt stage and even after that how do you uh, have uh, a, a good a good health during your menstrual cycles or if you are playing a sport Now you will go through a lot of uh, psychological challenges like winning a tournament losing a tournament you have your uh, uh, if you have if you know about anorexia so you you have to keep thin yourself you have to look good so there are so many challenges like this so how do you address these kind of issues and how do you plan before the growth spurt itself condition it i i believe women power is coming to the forefront last olympics all the women won medals first things first the girl will go through her reproductive cycle it would start anyway from the age of 9 to 13 in the olden days it was above 13 girls are hitting puberty earlier because of xenoestrogens which are coming from plastic microwaving and milk because all the cows and eggs and hens are getting injections which are producing the oxytocin which produces the uh, uh, the stimulus of the ovaries of the child and as a result puberty menstruation menstrual cycle is coming earlier now a girl child gets her height growth before menstruation so if i can delay the menstruation to 13 years 14 years of age i will get height growth but if menstruation comes earlier my height growth gets stunted the so first job for all parents listening in and please share this girl child no microwaving no milk no chicken no eggs chicken milk eggs organic 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 i repeat it if you have not got it don't microwave don't use plastic water bottles i see all children taking plastic water bottles and drinking out of the cloth tupperware pulpit nothing stainless steel for the girl child okay so this is the first thing once the menstruation cycle starts girls don't understand this parents don't understand this you lose blood blood contains hemoglobin hemoglobin contains iron iron is found in the body by a protein called ferritin any girl child that comes to me i check her iron levels i check her hemoglobin levels i check her ferritin levels do you know 95% of our girl children are all deficient in these three hemoglobin iron and ferritin and i am very angry because we are all dumb idiots because we have the internet we are educated i'm speaking to an educated audience people on instagram are educated people on instagram are not unpod but what you do you will bloody go out and excuse my language i get very angry about this because parents are gifting their kids iphones and laptops and they are buying byju byju is 45000 rupees अरे साहब जी तेरा डॉटर जो है ना फर्स्ट खाना दे दो सही तरह सो आई गेट वेरी एंग्री बिकॉज आई सी पीपल बाइंग ज्वेलरी गैप जीन्स एंड पेपे जीन्स एंड आई एम लाइक व्हाट्स योर न्यूट्रिशन लाइक मोस्ट घटिया वाला न्यूट्रिशन एंड द गर्ल चाइल्ड इज आल्सो एट फॉल्ट गर्ल चाइल्ड इज ऑल्सो एट फॉल्ट बिकॉज शी इज ईटिंग शुगर वाई बिकॉज अर ओवरीज आर सिंग आई नीड न्यूट्रिशन सो एंशियंट मैन न्यूट्रिशन इज वॉट go and search for fruits which are sweet it will give you carbs it will give you more amount of fat why more fat because when you store more fat your ovaries function better 
because the ovaries are not getting good nutrition from your hemoglobin your iron and your ferritin what i have to do increase the green leafy vegetables increase the iron food buy a lohe ka kadai cook in a lohe ka kadai that will give iron first question have you done a nutrition gene test every girl child that has come to me it's 22500 for the entire gene test nutrition one you you send your child away for the rest of their life with the newest wealth on the planet Mr Moy the newest wealth on the planet is your health have yes. you realized today i have i have a bmw adventure bike in my basement i have driven it for 310 kilometers i bought it on last year 3rd of may it's a vanity purchase i have a car i have all the possible clothes blah blah blue 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 you and i are the same <laughs> what are you doing with all of that yeah. it's useless it's useless i was just this does just telling my wife you know i've got three specs i don't need three specs and now is a realization that the new wealth is only my health because dude yeah. if i don't have a good health i can't go out into the world yeah. people with diabetes are dying with the coronavirus yeah so anyway coming back to the girl child i will just tell in badi zone do a blood test on the girl child ask for a blood test called ferritin nobody does it you have to ask for it it's a 180 rupee blood test ferritin if ferritin is lesser than 70 boom first thing why your child is not winning a game ferritin cuz how it works ferritin is an iron carrying protein imagine a courier he's like zomato he brings uh, iron into the blood then this iron uh, goes to hemoglobin hemoglobin heme in greek means iron globin means protein so this iron and protein so this ferritin gives iron to the globin combines and you get hemoglobin all the girl child they are losing blood during menstruation hemoglobin goes low your cycle to deliver your iron is not there so this is a key thing for girl child anorexia all girls want to be 200 ml coke bottle yeah right <laughs> they don't want to be 2 liter coke bottle right so you don't want like on one one round barrel shape Now what happens is the girl thing the girl thinks the the girl thinks that Ryan sir if i don't eat then my fat will come down listen in carefully when you don't eat the friend of fat is cortisol mr cortisol says hello salam mem sahab aapne khana nahi khaya no you did not eat today i am cortisol don't worry madam i will take care of you next meal that comes though we will take all the nutrition and since you are not eating you are in starvation i will store everything as fat i repeat i will store everything as fat so because i will store everything as fat i will send everything to your hips so if you are denying your lips it goes to your hips so not eating not eating is actually making our girls put on weight in fact when i started working with josna chinnappa squash player at the age of 31 after one year she says ryan i have been in the best shape of the life and in the first first diet chart she said she called me said ryan are you sure i've never eaten this much in my life i said trust me josna today the girl sports a four pack okay and she's like my mother can't understand it my granny can't understand it, my family can't understand why when i'm eating so much am i getting leaner because when you feed your body the right nutrition you actually the muscle says boss don't worry man you can play like crazy we are not storing any fat in fact burn the fat because this lady is giving us all the nutrition but the problem is the girl does not know how to eat according to her calories because she's eating out of love and culture that's the mistake so thank you ryan for that wonderful message so viewers back i would like to summarize on this part about the female athletes we have to make a rule stop eating out of love and culture no more sweets i mean you just heard everything about this and ryan so yeah so this is the last phase uh, of our session today let's ask a and question to... yes so one question perfect so this is one last question we can add on Uh, okay so the question is the question is name one vegetarian food which has vitamin b12 come on i will give them 2 minutes boy i'm enjoying myself boy i'm enjoying myself in case the instagram video stops would you like to come back and continue for another half an hour definitely i would like to i, I think we was also should uh, 
uh, you know, give us that input. So, would you like all of us? Would you like us to have another session or another half an hour session continuing? Please post it us. Uh, is it spinach, broccoli, milk? Milk is definitely not a vegetarian dish. <laughs> I would, I would give, I would give milk because they fortify milk. Oh, okay. Sweet potato, no. So if people are saying yes to the session, thumbs up to the session. Okay, without wasting further time. Yeah. Except for Sweet. yeast. Yeast, okay. something called marmite. That's the only thing that gives vitamin B12, and this is the reason why all vegetarian players suffer because. Vitamin B12 comes mostly from non-veg sources only. Only. Oh. So all the vegetarians need to, number one, do the nutrition gene test to check. Are they born? Is their mother, father, Jodi correct? And the gene you have inherited, will it absorb vitamin B12? If it absorbs vitamin B12, then whatever you get in nature and regularly, in small, small amounts, will get absorbed and will keep you up there. But vitamin B12 is from the b family of vitamins. The B and C vitamins are water soluble, which means it comes out of your sweat and your urine when you sweat. So you consistently lose B complex vitamins, which is why I pick on vitamin B12, because all vegetarians think that they know that they're getting good food. Yes, they're getting good food, but they're not getting the micronutrient of B12. So this is a tip to all the 133 people watching in that if you're vegetarian, test yourself as a parent, test your children, do a blood test for vitamin B12. If you're even more elite in thinking, come to me at Kwa Nutrition Clinics and do a nutrition gene test. And I will tell you vitamin A, vitamin B1, B2, B6, B9, B12, vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin E, vitamin K. I will tell you the 10 genetic receptors, whether you absorb or not. So if you come back to me, Mohit, and you have a vitamin E receptor low, you're suddenly winning tournaments. In fact, log kya bolte hai? Aray yaar, ye to Ryan ke paas gaya. Kuch to doping kar raha hai. Aray doping shopping kuch ne karta hai. Khana ah. deta hai, sahi taraf. Sahi taraf. That's the problem. Because I find out the missing dot. When I find out the missing dot, I am setting up the child for the rest of the life to eat correctly. Like imagine Mohit, if you came and did your gene test and I told you, Mr. Mohit, you're allergic to gluten, which is found in a wheat. Now, every time Mohit goes to a pastry shop, he's like, that stupid Ryan told me I can't eat wheat now, so I can't eat any of these pastries. But you're doing it because you realize it improves your performance, improves your health. So everything depends on what type of personality you are. If you're a Bindas Bol personality, are badminton do. Don't do nutrition, don't do coaching, just go hit the racket, enjoy Madi. But if if you are the person who has a vision and a path process, this vitamin B12 is one of the key things that I tell people. If you discover this, it's the first stepping stone to discover what more you need in nutrition. So let's go with, uh, there is no vegetable for uh, B12. There somebody just asked, uh, did I miss the answer? Fortified cereals and fermented foods. Yes, Parul Nair. Parul Nair, yes. Fortified cereals and fermented foods will have some small quantity, but not significant enough. Fortified cereal means some the government or the manufacturer has added B12 into that as a supplement. Okay. Perfect, Ryan. So the answer was marmit, right? Yeast and marmit. Yeah, marmite. M-A-R-M-I-T. Marmite is a type of yeast. So the yeast contains B complex. Uh, so that's what you can do. The uh, rest is for, for uh, other things. Uh, my I my clinic, somebody is asking. One of them answered yeast, but I don't know. You should say that they have to specifically answer marmite or yeast. No, no, no. Yeast is correct. Yeast is correct. Oh. So if Leela has answered, uh, Leela's uh, has answered correctly, then just yeah. please note down her name and go back because there may be somebody previously. So just check on the yes, timeline. Yes, and so Mohit, you're the, you're, the, you're the quiz master. You're the host. So uh, let me know who I should send the book. By the way, Mohit, you have to forgive me. I have to wait for the lockdown to be lifted to courier the books across. So uh, please, please give us maybe, I don't know whether if the courier goes out in the next 10 days, I'll send it. Otherwise, let's wait till 3rd of May. And then I promise, I promise you, I will send the books across to you. Yes, we promise that. So, uh, apart from this sports nutrition, uh, <clears throat> Ryan, uh, sorry, 
I think a lot of uh, non-sports players are also involved as a viewer. So let's bring down our focus to viewer. So I have a question on this. So we all have the habit of uh, tea, lots and lots of varieties of tea and coffee. <clears throat> so how is it beneficial? And what is the right time to have the tea and coffee, whether it's morning or before breakfast, after a breakfast or in the evening, in the snacks? So how do you do it? <clears throat> You want the very scientific answer or you want the nam ke vaste answer? I, we definitely need the scientific answer. And one more thing okay. about the supplements also. I forgot about the supplement. So there's been Let's do the tea and coffee. Things. Let's do the tea and coffee and then we'll do the supplement one. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah sure. We so have tea. 10 minutes. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. And if we, then after 10 minutes, I think it shuts down and then we'll come back on the second session. Yes, again. Yes, sure, sure. So yeah. we are, viewers, by your choice, by your choice and Mr. Mohit's uh, uh, lovely personality. I'm having such a fun blast session yeah. today. I don't mind doing another session. So yeah. uh, tea, coffee. We actually do in the nutrition gene test. There is a gene that says whether your uh, liver will process caffeine or not. If you are a fast processor of caffeine, thumbs up. If you are a slow processor of caffeine, thumbs down. So I can do that test. But... Let's go to general people. Tea, coffee. The benefits of caffeine is caffeine raises the heart rate and gives a little bit of an energy burst to people. In sports people, I give coffee shots or green tea lemonade during the workout to help in the workouts in gym or dry land training, not in the actual match because caffeine dehydrates. Coffee, tea dehydrates. First thing. Okay. Second thing. In India, we have tea and coffee with milk and sugar. Uh, above the age of 14 is okay to give a child tea or coffee. Below the age of 14 is not good. Why? Because uh, the caffeine, uh, we don't have scientific studies on how caffeine affects a child's liver and kidney. So I'm on the viewpoint, I will never give my child tea or coffee till he's 14 years of age. Okay. How many cups of tea or coffee for a child? No more than one cup of tea or coffee in a day. Above the age of 14, one or two cups. The older people, people like you and me, people are above 25 years of age. When we have milk and sugar, do you know one cup of tea is equivalent to 3.5 kgs weight gain? My, me and my team did the maths. If every day I eat, if every day I have a cup of tea with 50% milk and 50% water and two teaspoons of sugar in it, I will gain 3.5 kgs a year. If I have two cups of coffee, tea or coffee a day, I will gain 7.5. So, all of us who are fatty bumbalatis and have a gaining weight, <laughs> right? Let's start shifting to black tea or black coffee. Now, in this coronavirus period, the teas are the better option because they have something known as polyphenol, both green tea and black tea. So, I am drinking one cup of black tea in the morning, one cup of black tea after lunch, and one cup of black tea at five o'clock in the evening. I do not have tea after six o'clock because I'm a caffeine low receptor. I don't process it, so I have mental alertness. But before this coronavirus, I was not drinking any tea. I was having one cup of green tea a day because green tea is the only uh, food on the planet that has something called EGCG, which is epigallicocatechin which crosses the eye barrier, which crosses the eye barrier and goes and cleans the lenses of your eyes. So these are small, small things that we learn uh, that are really, really beneficial. Another thing about green tea, green tea has an amino acid called theanine in it. Theanine helps in calming the mind. So when Robin Uthappa was working with me long time ago, the year he won, that was the last year I worked with him. The year he won the orange cap. He won the orange cap in the IPL because he was a very calm batsman. And what did I prescribe to him? Theanin via green tea before every match. Now people will say, oh, it is luck and this and that. I would like to take, not I, green tea would like to take the credit for keeping him calm during that match. Maybe I could be wrong, but I've done it with Shikhar Dhawan. I've done it with a host of other athletes. I understand how to plan, when to give, what to give. Final point. Teas contain something known as theobromelin, which are vasodilators in the lungs. So it opens up your lungs. 
so if a child is uh, uh, having a cough or cold or fever you can give a small cup of black tea with milk in it it's okay because it will help clear up so you can give like a masala chai or a adrak chai a ginger chai when you make ginger tea please use fresh ginger because fresh ginger has antibacterial and antiviral properties that's it about tea and coffee wow fantastic so viewers please make sure that you don't directly stick on uh, for having uh, a green tea and uh, black tea and black coffee because you will have to go back to core nutrition do a gene testing or whatever ryan sir has said now make sure that your liver is processing uh, the coffee and tea or no and then you start doing your regular diets is that right ryan <clears throat> absolutely right mohit thank you so much uh, mohit how much time do we have left shall we stop this session and we'll restart the yes. session quickly so yeah so we have 5 minutes left and uh, definitely uh, i think we can go shall we take some questions shall yes, we take we some questions in this 5 minutes yes yes so can i have one book please surabhi yes surabhi you can go to my website ryanfernando.in and you can buy the book is stevia suggested stevia is a herbal sweetener uh i'm assuming this person is in the older ages of 30 plus and wants to reduce sugar in tea and coffee so yes you can take stevia uh, it's absolutely safe to give stevia also to children after having black uh, after having black coffee i feel constipated listen to your body if your body says get a headache or something or the other please don't have a black coffee for a 28 year old would you recommend to lose belly fat fast anything to accelerate the abs workout well uh, i i don't know if you uh, you guys know but i worked with amir khan on dangal so the body that he got in dangal hello rain fernando you the top i don't give my secret out because one size does not fit all so if i give you mohit what i give amir khan i might kill you it is true that every person is bio individual and unique so the amount of protein that i would give him maybe if i gave it to you and you have a kidney problem i could kill your kidneys so it's very important that if you want a, a way to get into a fat burning workout abs workout please give yourself one from a safety point of view don't do it in a jhatka because you can damage your body in this 6 months your protein your carbs your fats your supplement can be designed come to coordination i can help you homemade malt how many times should we give with mul- multiple grain uh there's no there's no restriction on malt just just that the malt uh for me is where is where is uh, is the gluten in it so are you gluten allergic second is when you malt it the sugar concentration goes up but otherwise i don't see any issue with malting food and doing it in multiple grain why shall we move on to the next session yes so yes ryan so we'll move on to the next session we'll quickly come back viewers and when once we come back we will go with the lifestyle lifestyle issues of if the, if you have any bp sugar how do you how do you have a diet plan and how do you look at it how to have a healthy lifestyle and we'll also discuss about genetic issues if you have a precondition so how do you do the diet so then uh, the last one which is what is the difference between an indian and western diet so how do we have if we have to do any changes so that we will come and address so viewers please stay and we'll also have one last book as a giveaway so see you soon back